had made up my mind before World War II that that's what I wanted to do, teach music, and preferably, because my background was that, in a Christian college. So that's what I did, and that's what I've done. We've had a number of accreditation experiences over the years, and one of my most vivid memories of him as a music professor is that when we wrote our self-study in the late 1980s, we put a paragraph in there that said, soon Dr. Harold Fletcher will be retiring. Ten years later, we wrote another self-study for our accreditation and said, well, soon Dr. Harold Fletcher will stop teaching in the department. We're going to have to make plans for how to cover the courses that he's been teaching for all these years. Well, two or three years ago, we had another 10-year self-study, and once again, well, one of these days, Dr. Harold Fletcher's going to decide he's had enough of this teaching in the music department, and we're going to have to figure out how to cover his course load. It may be that I will retire before my father does. I have a picture in my office of me, a headshot. And I, every day I come to class, I look at that just to remind me of how old I am and how far, how long the distance is between my uh, time in life and their time in life. And so if I'm going to continue to do this, I just have to make an effort. He's an energizer bunny of, of a professor. And truthfully, I think that the, the process of studying and preparing for classes and continuing to interact with the college students helps keep him feeling young and vibrant. For hours, he will be studying in preparation for this music history class that he has taught 20, 30, 40, 50 times. He wants to learn more about it. So uh, what a remarkable and intimidating model for me to try to live up to in my own teaching. The thing I've enjoyed most about teaching is study. And so I take that class and I make my career out of that class, you know. I've always wanted to find out more about it. Still do. Music is, is, is wonderful. It's powerful. I, I can't think of my life without it.